Are you looking for a go almost anywhere hidden camera or looking to add to a security camera at your home or apartment? This little camera from Kuya might just fit the bill. The Kuya Hidden Wi-Fi spy camera is one of many small or disguised IP cameras available on the market. What's cool about this little camera is its form factor. As you can see in the photo, the camera's electronics and battery are separated from the camera lens itself by a ribbon cable that allows you to place the lens in a very discreet location several inches from the larger circuit board and battery. This will allow you to exercise your creative juices in finding just the right place to put your camera. If you place it near a 120 volt outlet, you can use a cell phone charger and included USB cable to keep the camera powered on all the time. Before we look at the camera in more detail, a little disclaimer. Your state or country probably has laws regarding making recordings from hidden cameras. Make sure you understand those laws and use the camera for appropriate and legal purposes. When setting up the camera for the first time, you'll need to download an app from your phone's app store and follow the instructions that come with the camera. Speaking of instructions, they're quite good and will get you up and going pretty fast. I lost some time when linking my camera to my home network because I didn't notice the little page numbers at the bottom of the sections on the instruction sheet. I think I went from step 4 to step 7 and to no one's surprise, the linking didn't work. After noticing the page numbers, I went from page 4 to page 5 to page 6 and so forth and things worked completely as described. There is a link in the instructions where you can download a program for your Windows computer that allows you to display the video from several IP cameras if you have several connected to your network. This is where I messed up as you have to use the app on the phone to link this little IP camera to your home network. The app provides the ability to scan and select the correct network and provide the appropriate login password. With that task complete, the computer program will find the camera on the network and allow you to select it and connect to it. So let's take a look at um, what's inside the box. So here is the, uh, the camera itself. You've got the circuit board and Various electronic components of the camera are right here. The Wi-Fi antenna and then the uh, DC plug on the lift, the little JST plug right here. Uh, and then on the end of the um, ribbon cable is the camera itself. And you can see there are a couple of little ultraviolet kind of uh, uh, bulbs mounted there at the end of the camera as well. So that's the, the working part of the camera. <clears throat> I should note that there's a little stickum uh, glued to the back of that camera plate so that you can, uh, you know, mount it to something firm. Next is the battery. It's a little one cell lithium ion battery with the, uh, the appropriate uh, JST connector on this end to power it. Now the instructions say that this will power it about six hours. Uh, and again, um, with the controls that are on the circuit board, which includes a slot for an SD card, if you want to record directly to the, um, the camera itself, there's a port here for a USB, which would allow you to keep it powered all the time through the included USB cable. There's an on off switch right here which illuminates LEDs right there to indicate that the camera is working. And then there's a record button right there that you can press that will get the LEDs flashing, uh, indicating that the camera is running. So that's really all of the controls there are 
here on this little camera. Uh, hopefully you can see them. They're black on black and pretty small, uh, but they're easy to manipulate. Also included is a USB cable and, uh, you know, type A on one end and a mini USB here on the other end. There's a little piece of metal that comes along with, again, with uh, uh, stick them on the back. Uh, this you could stick to a surface and then there's a magnet here on the back of this um, circuit board box, which would allow you to, to mount this somewhere um, in, uh, very discreetly. So that's, uh, that's pretty handy. There's a little marketing material here, which includes some of their other products as well as chargers and other things that they have available. And then the instruction or first start guide. And uh, this is pretty good, it's in color. It's got screenshots, it's in both English on one side and Chinese on the other side. And the English uh, is, is pretty good, they're very easy to follow. Um, here is the, uh, each little section has got a page number on it here. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's where I messed up going up and down instead of along with the uh, page number. So I would caution you to do that. But other than that, the instructions were uh, very good. So that's what comes with this little uh, spy cam kit. Uh, let's take a look at some of the videos and some of the other photos that you can expect to get when you put this into action. Here's a quick look at the phone app on an Android device. Here are a couple of video clips and photos taken with the device. These were recorded to both the SD card and the phone. Finally, here's a screenshot of the IP multi-view program on my Windows computer. The video from this camera, when used as a security camera, is pretty good. You could easily provide images that would allow police to identify the bad guy who broke into your home or was messing around outside. The tiny lens isn't as good when used in a moving situation such as mounted on your person or as a first-person view camera on a radio-controlled car or something like that. That should come as no surprise. Color control and image stabilization on a sub-$50 spy cam is simply not realistic. If you're a gadget geek wanting a neat gadget to play around with or are interested in using the spy cam in a stationary application such as a home security or nanny cam, I think you'll be pleased. It has a great feature set for a hidden camera in this price range. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up icon below the video and consider subscribing to the Gadget Talk channel. Subscriptions are important to small channels like mine, so I'd really appreciate it. Click on the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.